Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Libby and in today's video, I want to show you all the fun thrift finds that I found when I was looking for Halloween decor the past couple weeks. So I have a bunch of stuff here. I've got a lot of linens and then a couple books, some mugs behind me, and then two decor pieces on each side of me, one on each side. I wanna go ahead and start with the books that I found when I was Halloween decor hunting. I always take a look in the books and like I mentioned, I am adding to my Goosebumps collection. So that's really what I'm looking for. If I find some other really cute, like Halloween children's books, I usually pick them up. And the first one I wanna show you guys is this fun pumpkin pop-up book. And I picked this up just because it was so fun. It's got a lot of really cute, like pictures in it and things that can like open and pop up. I think it is older and probably like a little broken. I mean, as you guys can see, like that needs to be glued back down where the little cauldron should pop up. But overall, I thought it was a really fun, like cute little book that has all of these little things that are supposed to open and pop up. So there's an owl there and just like a spooky house with a ghost inside. And the name of it is Pop-Up Peekaboo Pumpkin. What year is this from? Does it say? 2016. It actually does not look like a 2016 book. I would have thought this was a lot older, but I love the colors of it. Kind of a light orange and purple with a little jack-o'-lantern and the black cat. So I picked this one up. I do want to create like a little outdoor library in my front yard. If you've seen those in people's yards where you can go and take a book and then you return it and you grab another free book. So I kind of want to stock up on my Halloween books to put in that little mini library when it's Halloween time. So this is the first one I grabbed. The next one I grabbed that I was so excited about was the Nightmare Hotel. And I think this is part of like a series cause I saw another one there, but it wasn't the same style of like ghouls. It was more like aliens. And I liked this one because it has obviously like a Dracula Frankenstein on the front of it. And then each page has so much spooky stuff, like a pop-up book. And there's different creatures doing different things here. We've got some like ghosts in the window and it looks like a little ghoul cleaning, like a little maid ghoul. This page, so fun. All of these skeletons having a good time around like a little potluck. And the Frankenstein vampire on this page. And then this one, let me just show you guys. This one is what really sold me on getting this book. Look at this full pop-up. We've got a ghost and like an entire party of people in this nightmare hotel. I mean, how fun is that? So I just couldn't resist this one. I. I'm almost tempted not to put this in my little outdoor library just because I don't want somebody to take it and break it, but I like it a lot and I want to share it with other people. So I, I haven't decided yet, but had to buy this. This was $2 and this guy I think was like $1.79. I got this one from Savers and this was from a local thrift store and like the money goes towards a pet adoption and like humane society needs. So $2, I think this is like $1.49. Next up, I want to show you guys all the different linens that I got. So all of these were from the SPCA thrift, which is the one that helps support animal adoption. And they have like a little upstairs. If you go upstairs, there's like a little Halloween area and there's a Christmas area. And I perused the Halloween area and found a bunch of stuff that I loved. So the first one being this cute little vintage hand towel. And you can tell it's vintage just from the way it's kind of worn in. The orange is worn and it's looking more yellow on camera, but it's like a, a very like fun vintagey orange, very bright that is now faded. And his little purple hat with moons on it. Like I said, it's just a cute little like Halloween hand towel, but with the look of this patch on here, I just couldn't resist how vintagey and cute it was. And then there are little like faded moons and stars all over it. So I picked this guy up for $2, which I thought for a vintage hand towel or kitchen towel, I just had to get him. He's so cute. Next up, I got another hand towel. This one's actually new with tags. I guess it's a kitchen towel is what it's marked as. I got this guy for just a dollar. I thought this was just a good staple to have, especially because it's brand new. This will be fun to put out around Halloween time. 
There were a couple pot holders and I wanted to get a few of them, but I ended up putting back one of them that's like the oven mitt and it was of a black cat and I liked it a lot, but I just didn't absolutely love it for kind of the theme I'm going for. It wasn't spooky enough. It was more like spoopy. So I ended up putting that back, but I did grab this spider in its web oven mitt. And this one was $2. It looks brand new. It looks like it's never been used. There's no stains on it. And it's nice and bright orange, black and white. And like I said, the white, there's nothing on it. So it might be brand new without tags. I'm super excited to have this. I don't know how much I'll actually use it, but I'll definitely have it out during Halloween time. Maybe if I throw like a little get together, I can use this to put warm food on and like pots and stuff. And then the last thing of linens I picked up at one of the thrift stores was a set of two placemats. And they were $2 each, 110% worth it. I'm sure I'm probably gonna put this in my thumbnail because I'm so excited about it. But it is, this one is of three jack-o'-lanterns all with different faces. We have white stars on the top and the bottom. And then what's fun about these is they're actually reversible. So depending on what size you want, what kind of color scheme you're going for, if you want the black to be more prominent with the orange, or if you want the orange to be the main color. So I really like both of these. This is the first one. They are different designs, but it's that fun like woven style. So it's nice and thick. And this is actually new with tags as well. Laughing Pumpkins placemat. Looks like it was $3 originally. I paid two for it, which I still think even three is like a steal of a deal. So, so happy about this one. The second one is a little bit more intricate and really fun. And it is, a, it's like a checker of pumpkins and bats. So we've got our black bats there and our orange pumpkins checkered all the way across. And then the back is all white of that same print. So I really like that both of these are like, you can flip them and reverse them however you want. And they're just such fun designs. They're so intricate. This one does not have a tag on, but again, it doesn't look used. None of, besides the vintage like hand towel, none of this stuff really looks used. So for $2, I thought this was a really fun thing to have. Even if it's just, I put two of these placemats, you know, one of each out on my table around Halloween time, I think it'll add a nice like pop of Halloween decor. So going along with the kind of kitchen theme, I want to show you guys my small spooky mug collection that I have started. You guys just saw this guy in one of my more recent videos, our little winking pumpkin with the crow on the side. So I just want to show him because I got him a couple weeks ago around the same time I was thrifting for all this Halloween decor. So I'm going to put him there. I also want to show you the two other ones I got and I found both of these together at Savers. I think they were like $1.49 each like or maybe $2.49 really cheap and in really great condition. So the first one I saw grabbed it right away. We have let's see if I can get it without the ring light. My man Chucky. So you can kind of see him there. We've got a Chucky doll holding a knife. His name is actually on the inside and then the back says friends till the end, which what could be more perfect? Like I'm a huge Chucky fan. I feel like I look kind of like Chucky, so maybe I'm biased, but this is a great mug. It looks like it's from 2004 and it's got the different Chucky movies on here. It says Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, and Bride of Chucky are trademarks and copyrights of Universal Studios, the movie Seed of Chucky. So we've got a fun little print there. I still have part of the tag on, but I love how big this mug is and just being able to drink out of it and see Chucky in his most gruesome form with his creepy little smile. How do I love that? So this one definitely had to buy it the second I saw it. The second one that I bought at the same time as my Chucky mug and I didn't see it right away. I was looking through all the mugs and I was like, Oh my gosh, Chucky, I have to grab that. And then I look up and I see this mug back here. And I did show this on my Instagram, but it is this Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas mug. We've got Jack Skellington on the front of it and little uh, headstones with the different monsters on them. And then the back has Oogie Boogie's Boys.
So I thought this was really fun. And I mean, it's a Disney mug. This one does look used, but still in great condition, no chips or anything. It is a very nice tall mug, which I really like. Um, so it's got a lot of presence and the colors like this really pretty deep purple as well. I also love that we've got the title up here and it says Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. So I was very excited to grab this one. And only two more items in this haul. It's a little bit of a small haul, but we are just getting into the Halloween decor hunting stage of the summer. So I'm sure I'll be growing my collection quite a bit more and showing you guys everything I get. But I just wanted to do kind of a little precursor, a little thrifted haul. I guess next up, I'm gonna show you guys this cute little like town I found. This was at the same thrift store as all the placemats and linens. And this was $2. Let me scoot up so you guys can see all the detail, but it's just a fun little spooky town. Um, actually it says candy factory. So it looks like it might be part of a spooky town. You can buy all the different pieces to it. We got some ghosts up top here and some pumpkins and looks like some candy corn on the side, like spilling out and more candy corn coming out a little door, more pumpkins. I mean, there's just so much detail in this. It's really fun. It's got that vintage look and it does light up. So on the bottom here, it has just one of those little individual lights that you can plug in and turn on. And I thought this was so fun for two bucks. I was just like, yeah, I have to have this. Like the detail on this piece is pretty great. So, I mean, you even have a little ghosty coming out of the side. I had to grab it. I thought it was really cute. And I thought it would just be a fun addition to my Halloween spooky town collection. All right, and last but not least, I hope I'm gonna be able to show you guys this. It's pretty big. So I did get a sign, a very like vintage-y sign from um, another thrift store. It's a different one than any of the other stuff I bought at, but I do go to this one quite a bit and they usually don't have like a ton of holiday themed stuff, but in a corner hiding behind like a bunch of wrapping paper, I saw this. It is a witch with her little sign that says, which way you can put a little light through here and she just goes in the ground. She was originally marked $2, but they were actually having a little discount that day. So I got her for like $1.40. And it's like I said, it's pretty big, but I thought it was so fun with all the vintage colors, like the bright purple, bright orange, bright neon green. It feels very, maybe like 80s or so, maybe like late 80s. I don't know. I'm not sure when it's from. The only little faux pas is that she is missing a tiny bit of her shoe down here, but not an issue for me. I thought this was so fun and kind of like school teachery. And for $1.49, you can't beat it. So I had to pick it up. It's a piece that I've never seen anybody else have. And little which way, I love puns. So that's gonna wrap up my small thrifted Halloween decor haul. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I will continue to film and show you everything I get during this Halloween hunting season. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. Give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.